Grand Rapids is celebrating the holidays with a festive party that's become a community tradition. Reporter Sherelle Moore tells us about the Ho 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 Christmas Party for this week's Community Spotlight. For a lot of people in the Grand Rapids area, it's not officially Christmas until the annual Ho 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 Christmas Party at the Grand Rapids Children's Discovery Museum. We've actually been here three times now. Awesome. So it's our little family tradition. Basically, Grandma right here, um, she was here like a bunch of times and I probably thank her for doing that because it's fun. The Christmas party will usually see around 500 kids. It's totally free for the public and is usually held between the 8th and the 10th of December. You can meet Santa Claus, bake cookies, make crafts, or play one of the dozens of games. There's so much going on that it's hard to pick a favorite activity. I got to make cookies and have some hot chocolate. My favorite part is where I could like move a duck and fish. Getting a face paint. My favorite thing is seeing the kids enjoying all the activities and especially seeing them with Santa Claus. The Ho 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 Christmas Party has been a tradition in Grand Rapids for more than 10 years. It's put on through the Children's First Foundation here in Itasca County and the Children's Discovery Museum here in Grand Rapids. The purpose of this event is to offer something special for the whole family to do together. For families, the Christmas party has provided a great opportunity to bond with one another. The tradition has become one that kids and parents look forward to. We're having a lot of fun. We went and got to decorate some cookies and got to eat some frosting and sprinkles and that was fun. And it's just fun seeing the community come together and just have some fun in inside where it's not cold out and enjoy the Christmas season. Reporting in Grand Rapids with this week's Community Spotlight, Shrum Moore, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.